These are the user settings. If you don't know how to get here, please see the first video in the series um, to open the app and uh, log on to the remote settings and access this page. In the main setting page of remote settings, um, the second item on the list is work mode. Now, if you click work mode, you'll get a list of the different work modes that the inverter can run in. Work modes are a way of the inverter prioritizing the order of solar, battery and grid and how it's used. And if you click on the standard work mode of self-use, you can see the other work modes that are available. So we have self-use, feed-in, backup mode, manual mode, um, peak shaving, enhanced TOU and smart schedule. Um, that's uh, on a hybrid inverter. Some of your use modes may be different. Now, each use mode or work mode um, has different settings. So if you go into the settings menu here and type in the passcode, so I'm going to type in 0000 for basic user settings, then each of those work modes are listed here. We've got the self-use work mode, the feed-in priority work mode, the backup work mode. And these are the settings that apply to that specific work mode when you select it from the other menu. In self-use mode, the inverter uses the generated solar energy in the following priority order. Firstly, it's used to power the house load. If there's enough energy to power all the house load, it's then used to charge the battery. If there's also enough energy to charge the battery or the battery is full, it's then sent to the grid as export. If by any chance it can fulfill the export requirement, um, then the remaining energy above the inverter rating is clip. Now clip just means it disappears and it's wasted. Solar energy will only cover the next priority if there's enough to fully cover the previous one. So for example, if there's not enough solar energy to cover the house load, then the house load will be taken in the following priority order. Firstly, it will be taken from the battery down to the minimum limit, and then it will be taken from the grid. Self-use is the default mode as it's usually the most common one. And the other use modes, you can look into those if self-use doesn't suit your circumstances. The inverter will only power loads up to the maximum inverter rating. For example, a five kilowatt inverter will power loads up to five kilowatt. There is a little bit of leeway on some of the inverters in the range. For example, um, they offer 10%. So a five kilowatt inverter could power loads up to 5.5 kilowatts. Let's have a look at the self-use mode specific settings. If you click on self-use, the settings will be shown below the self-use menu. Mintock percentage, this is the minimum percentage that the battery is allowed to discharge to when using this mode. The minimum allowed is 10% as it protects a lithium battery from damage um, that would occur if it discharged completely. You can set this to a higher percentage if you wish, but 10% is the default to protect the battery. The charge from grid setting, if you enable that, it'll allow your battery to be charged from the grid. Now, normally this is used when you want to charge in an off-peak period. Um, you, you need to set the times that you want the battery to charge, as well as enabling the charge from grid option. Um, the times are set further down in the charge and discharge period menu, and I'll cover that later. When you select enable from uh, charge from grid, let's just demonstrate that and uh, click OK. Um, once you click the save button, another setting will be revealed. So this just demonstrates, depending on which settings you select, other settings will either appear or disappear. So the setting that uh, is revealed is charge battery two percentage. So when you're charging the battery from the grid, um, you can set what percentage you like it to stop at. So for example, I could set this to um, 80%. and um, click the save button so we'll now the battery will now just charge to 80 percent uh, when it's charging from the grid at an off-peak time and the charge grip um, from grid has been enabled a few little tips um, remember to set the uh, min sock percentage and the charge battery 2 percentage under the correct mode menu as each mode is controlled by its own values um, the specific settings of each mode don't affect any of the other modes except for the charge from grid. 
This enables all modes to charge from grid during the set charge period. Thank you very much for watching. See you on the next video.